What's up guys, welcome to this product research video. So in this one, I'm gonna show you how to find products that have really good potential. And um, the method I'm gonna be showing you today is actually the method I use to find the product, the one single product that produced these results here. Um, and I wanna show you this first week of December then because the end of that first week is kind of like the cutoff point before things start getting a bit iffy um, in terms of guaranteeing delivery before Christmas. In case you didn't know, I also import products in bulk. So between kind of the end of that first week and up to, I believe the cutoff point is the 23rd this year, um, is when I tend to focus on those products so I can capitalize on Q4 as much as possible. So at the moment, the store is inactive, but this is what the first week of December looked like. So the average day was about 1,600 pounds, give or take, and then I believe it was the sixth in which I did a little bit over 2k now I was pretty happy with these results to be honest because they were fairly consistent I could have scaled it perhaps a bit higher but due to it coming up to that cutoff point before orders start arriving into January time um, I didn't want to take the risk to be honest if I had to put a number on it I'd probably say about 10-15% of these orders won't get there before Christmas and run the risk of having to be refunded anyway so let's get into the topic of today's video and actually show you how I went about finding this product um, it's the method I've been using quite a lot recently purely because it's so effective and so fast which you'll see in a second now before we jump into the actual method itself just a couple of background points number one ideally go for products that are currently selling it's the fastest way to have success and make those initial sales if a product is selling well today then you can make sales today Point two, cost to use less than 15 pounds delivered. Anything more than that, then you run the risk of it getting delayed in customs and having to pay duty and taxes, etc. So try and keep that cost to you delivered. Now that does include delivery costs, so it includes the cost of e-packet with a sale price then of plus 15 pound minimum. So what that means is if you buy products for 10 pounds delivered, make sure it has a perceived value and you can sell it for at least 25 pounds. So it's 10 pound plus 15 pound minimum, purely because me anyway, my average kind of cpa on facebook now is anywhere from 10 to 15 pounds so as long as you have that room then you can make a little bit of profit plus any upsells or cross sales plus any back end stuff you have in place um, you can make a pretty decent profit overall so the actual method to the madness then is the exchange marketplace this is a brilliant resource if you've never heard of it before then i thoroughly recommend you get to grips with it um, a couple of things to keep in point then um, no private listings and 500k plus sales in terms of the actual store itself so just to give you a quick background it's where people come to sell their shopify stores um, so what you want to do is just head over across browse all stores we want to go for drop shipping obviously the same business model as us the better because then we can replicate it um, revenue high to low and then just make sure you click the graph so you can actually see the revenue numbers the two things we want to keep in mind then when we're scrolling through all these different listings is number one is to make sure they're not private listings as this one is here because when they're private they don't give out their store url so we can't go to their store and we can't see their products and number two then is the total revenue if we go for stores that have at least 500k in revenue then we know that we're going to be dealing with stores and with products um, that have really good potential so just keep scrolling through then find a couple that match the criteria open them up into separate tabs which I've already done um, and here's three quick examples I want to show you then so number one is heroic defender um, just to give you a background to so total revenue is over 500k the numbers are verified by Shopify themselves as well as you can see here so the numbers aren't fake you don't have to worry about coming across a store with fake numbers but store number two is a pretty interesting store it's a one product store easy bun maker and their total revenue was over 500k so that's one single product that's capable of doing over half a million pounds um, dollars sorry which is pretty good and then store number three is Outdoor Lives. It's basically an outdoor camping shop. There's lots of different products, which we'll be looking at in a second. And again, as you can see, these guys did over 500K in revenue as well. So once you've found some stores then, the next thing you want to do is check the marketing strategies and the order fulfillment of those stores. Probably because there's no point taking products from a store that are buying them in bulk and shipping them out themselves. You want to make sure they are drop shipping. Plus you, are, you want to make sure that they're marketing it in the correct way too. Because depending on whether you choose a product to advertise on Facebook or Instagram or TikTok or Snapchat, um, the criteria is different. So you want to make sure that you, these guys are going to be running the same kind of marketing campaigns you are, i.e. Facebook ads. So this first store then we can see that they're using print on demand and drop shipping and they're also using Facebook advertising too which is good because if these guys can set it sell a product well using Facebook ads and drop shipping it then there's no reason why we can't this particular store if we have a look our main focus was on paid traffic via Facebook ads again another really good sign and then this third one dark directly driven from Facebook and Google AdWords, mostly Facebook, very little maintenance required once working. So again, three really good stores that match all the criteria so far. Next thing we want to do then is simply use a free Chrome extension, i.e. Shopify Inspector. Um, so what we shall do is we'll open up the stores 
um, and we're gonna use a Chrome extension and basically just to take us straight to their best selling products so we know exactly what to focus on. Now to avoid things getting confusing, I'm just gonna go through the process with one particular store now. Um, it probably won't be this one, but just to show you it because there are a lot of people that watch this that ask me about one product stores. Um, so best selling products, we can see that it's the easy bun maker. If we click the link, it should take us to the product page. Um, and this is the one and only product these guys sell and they did over 500K in revenue. So if this is a product you're interested in, then by all means, um, dig deeper into this one um, and have a look at the Facebook ads they'll be running as well. And I'll show you how to do that later on in the video. The one I'm gonna focus on is this store here, just because I think it'll get a bit confusing if I'm chopping and changing between three different stores. So this is Outdoors Life, um, a very basic looking store. I mean, straight away you can tell it's a dropshipping store and yet the results speak for themselves. They did over 500K in revenue. So I'm just gonna open up Shopify Inspect um, and have a look at what their best selling products is, which was this five pack of permanent matches. Uh, so I'm just going to open up the product page and just take a look at the overall design and layout. So if you are, if this is a product, if you've got an outdoor store, you want to test this product, then you've got pretty much all the information in front of you here. What product images to use, what information to use. Now, obviously, please don't copy it word by word, but use it for inspiration and implement it into your own store in your own way. Just make sure you do it in your own way. Next steps are then if we go back to the checklist is to use Chrome extension to find best sellers, which we've just done. And then the next point you can do as well is if you are struggling for Facebook ad inspiration, you can actually head over to the Facebook ad library. And if the particular store that you're looking at is running ads, then you can use the Facebook ad library for inspiration too, and even copy their ads. Again, look at the type of videos they use and the images they're posting, the actual wording of their ads, um, and replicate something similar in your own campaign. So this is one of the stores we looked at earlier called Heroic Defender. And this is the one and only ad. So I went to all, all impressions, all platforms. And this I believe is the only active one they had. So because the stores that we found are for sale, then they might be inactive. They might not currently be running any Facebook ads. So you, it, you might come to a dead end is what I'm trying to say, but it's always worth checking. Nonetheless, if you do find an ad, then you can always take inspiration from it. And if you do find it and come across one that's quite lucky, then essentially you've got the whole, you've got absolutely everything in front of you that you can then go and replicate into your own business. So you've got the product, You've got the selling price, you've got the product page design and layout. And then if you come across, if you're lucky enough to come across the Facebook ad too, then you've got that as well. Next step in the checklist then is to find the product on AliExpress and check the daily order volume. This is a way of finding evidence of how in demand this particular product is. So if we just head across to AliExpress, as you can see, I've already done the research on this one. Um, just stick permanent match into there. Make sure you filter by orders. So we are going to be using the URL of the most popular product. I'm going to open it up into a new tab and then I'm going to head across to uh, my account so I can open up the dropshipping center. And what you want to do then is just take the URL of the best selling product, head into your dropshipping center. Uh, we want to go to product analysis and paste the URL in there, click search. And then what we're looking at is how many units are being sold per day. And ideally you want that to be over 1% of the overall orders. So if we have a look at the product page, we can see um, these guys have sold 1500 in total. 1% 1 of 1500 is, I believe about 15 per day. And these guys are averaging 30, 26, 12, they're dipping down a bit low. On average though, it's above 15 per day, which in my opinion is a good sign. So as long as you've got that over 1%, it shows that the product is in good demand. Another way you can check this as well, which is also the next step is to search on Facebook for customer feedback. So if we just open up any old tab in Facebook, uh, let's go to permanent match. We're gonna search for videos because then we can see how many views the videos have. And we wanna find one then that has a decent amount of views because then it has a better chance of having more comments that we can use for an idea of whether people are actually buying this product or not. So 346,000 views, if we just open this up. Um, again, so a good way of finding content um, to use for your ads. We're gonna open up the comments and, and once you've opened up quite a few of the comments, as you can see here, all you need to do then is quickly read through a few of them and just see if you can find anyone actually saying they've bought this. Because if you can, it's a good sign that people actually want a product and it's in demand. So just bought two of them, which is really good. We can see here, just bought one for my father. He loves the wooden survival stuff. So that's a great sign. What you wanna do is if you have found a particular video that looks good, getting good engagement, is just click the three dots and make sure you save the video. And then over time, what will happen is if I just go back to home, 
saved then you'll build up like a library of different facebook ads that you can just keep coming back to for inspiration so for example then i have this um, dog bed that i've been meaning to test recently because it's got millions of views as you can see it's got nearly 10,000 comments and if we open up the comments just to illustrate how much people are enjoying this you can see people are tons and tons of people are buying this product and posting pictures of their dog so somebody's actually bought this took a picture and it's got 240 engagements that just illustrates how many people are loving this product so it's getting a ton of engagement a ton of views um, which is a great sign of a healthy product that's in demand if we go back to the checklist there is another way in which you can find evidence of whether a product is actually in demand and that's simply using google trends within a few seconds you can find out who's buying it if at all anyone and what country they're in so if i just open up google trends i've got a tab open already we can see dog bed is currently on the upward trend which is a good sign because it shows that more and more people are searching for this term what i really like as well is if we go if we expand this into worldwide and we can just scroll down a bit it will actually tell us the most popular countries that are searching a term like this so we know exactly what countries to target on facebook as well with that being said then back to the checklist and i think that just about covers everything it does so just a quick a very fast recap then ideally go for products that are currently selling today it's the fastest way to see the initial sales um, to build that initial motivation um, find products that cost you less than $15 or £15 delivered so that includes the actual delivery cost and make sure you can sell that for at least an extra £15 or $15 on top of what your purchase price is. Use the exchange market price then to find public listings that have at least 500 plus sales that way we can make sure that we're focusing on products that have really big potential. Check the marketing strategies make sure these guys are using drop shipping and they are selling the products via Facebook ads so we can replicate the exact same business model. Use the simple Chrome extension it's called shopify inspector it's 100 free and it will take you straight to their best sellers once you find their best sellers then you just have to find evidence to make sure the product is currently in demand so you know that it will actually sell if you decide to invest in it and actually test it there's a number of ways you can do this you can use the facebook ad library to see what ads they're currently running for it you can find it on aliexpress and check the daily order volume you can also search for the product on facebook that way you'll also find customer feedback of that particular product to see if anybody is actually commenting and saying they're buying it and then finally you can actually use google trends too to see if people are searching for it on google and then the final point i want to finish on this video is the fact that don't get too greedy focus on one country and one product at a time one of the biggest mistakes i see beginners make is they try and test five different products in 10 different countries at a time they try and buy off way more than they can chew with little budgets too so just focus on getting one product to work in one country at a time and once you do then start to scale and expand it into other countries start small and build things big you can if you go and if you try and go too big too quickly you're just going to set yourself up to fail and with that being said guys i hope you enjoyed the video thanks very much for tuning in if you did enjoy it please hit that like button any questions at all i do read every single comment so leave your questions down below for weekly videos hit that subscribe button and i'll see you in the next one